back to my channel. Today I am in what we call our ruckus room. Um, I haven't made a video in a while because I just didn't have any ideas, but today I do. I was inspired by our beach vacation this year, and in fact, last year and the year before I wanted to do this, and I finally was able to do it with my budget because we decided uh, we needed to go out of town today to pick up something for my husband's truck. And it happened to be right by a Dollar Tree. And I found a whole section of beach themed stuff. Okay, so here is everything that I purchased. We have these two beach and relax things here, a, a an anchor, that's a soap dish. These are two hanging shelves. I'm gonna paint the words. Um, this is to go with something I already have. This is for painting everything. I do have other paint brushes here and paint to use already. So we're working with what we got. This I thought was so cute. I thought I'll paint this to put on the wall. Then I bought some canvases. Now my 12 year old loves to paint. So he said he's going to attempt to paint a beach scene. But that's what I have so far. And then, like I said, I'm gonna use a few things that I already have here. Real, real quick, sorry, I guess there's not enough light in here. These are the jars I think I'm gonna use. This, I'm gonna take some of the stuff out of it. I'm gonna use some of these shells that are in here. These were found on our trip and there's some sand in there. I'm gonna use that as well. All right, here is the view of my bathroom from the hallway. Yes, we have tape on the walls and on the, it's painted partially down. So eventually that doorway is gonna get moved back this way. You can kind of see that we already have some colors in here that work for a beach theme, and that's what gave me the inspiration. Right, there's my kitty. And I have some signs up on the walls already, but like, I'm gonna take those down, get rid of those. Um, figure out something different for the back of the toilet, maybe. Some of the stuff that's there, I can put under the sink, and then maybe just use that for toilet paper storage. The lovely sign my cousin made. Unfortunately, that's gonna have to go and I'm not sure where it's going to go now. Curtain, we originally bought that for the front door. You can roll it up and use those to kind of tie it up. Over here is where the cat stuff is at. That stool is there, but we don't really use it anymore. And around here, we have medicine cabinet, some outlets there. Yes, we are eventually gonna replace those to be white, but they would actually go with the beach theme. So a sink vanity, a little cabinet that was just given to us recently. And I like that. It works really well, works a lot better than what we had in here before. A little tray on top with all our stuff. Towel rack over here. That towel is my hair washing towel. <laughs> and that there, so I'll replace that. So I'm pretty much gonna just put the new decorations up where the old ones were, but I gotta figure out where we're gonna put these shelves. So, and then over, this is what it looks like with the door closed. There's a mirror there. And see this here. This was purchased in North Carolina at a farmer's market. Some nice lady made it and that will fit in with our theme. So some of the things that I bought, we are going to paint like this. There's no red in my bathroom and I really didn't feel like trying to throw some more red in there. Um, so we're gonna paint it, we're gonna paint it blue and I already have some blue paint and then I have some lighter colors, like beachy colors. I'll figure out how, how to make these work. Um, because we're doing this on a budget. So we're gonna start by painting this and making it blue. All right.
Okay, so you just saw that I put a first coat on that. It's going to need another one, and I'm already seeing you know, there's some spots where the red is showing through, which is fine. I figured it would need a second coat, but I have to give that a little time to dry. So I'll be back in a few minutes after that's partially dry, then I can try to put a second coat on. Okay, so while I was waiting for the first coat on the anchor to dry, I went ahead and started painting the words. And this was just using paint that I had here at home because my kids love to paint, so I always have paint. There is a second coat now on the anchor and a second coat on that word. And I still need a second coat on this. So we're gonna wait for that to dry and get stuff out to work on that. Okay, so my son is about to paint a picture for the bathroom. He loves making sunsets and things and scenes. Um, he's mixing his colors together to make something really pretty. And then he's sort of mapped out where he wants to put everything on his canvas. He's 12, ladies and gentlemen, and he has a process. But he is going to be a great artist someday. He already is a very good artist, but he's going to be spectacular when he's older because he's going to have a lot of practice. Right, Cole? Yeah. Yeah. We decided to make this a project, huh? Oh, I should probably, if I add a little bit of water, it makes it a little watery and... Good idea. Spreads a little easier. In case you all are wondering why we call this our ruckus room, it's because it's where everything happens. <laughs> like, we got the dog food in here. We've got a chalkboard on the wall back there. We've got Legos, some extra stuff down there, toys. There's, in that black bag is a giant Jenga set. We have overflow for the pantry in here, except it's almost empty because we've been reorganizing. And if I can turn around, I'm sitting down, so I'm gonna have to twist. This is our game closet. Around the side of the doorway is more games. You can't see it, but. And I've been sort of reorganizing in there. We just keep a bunch of extra stuff. That little set of drawers has our craft stuff in it. Let me come back around here. And then we used to have a chair there. We took it out. Um, there's nothing on the walls in here because we have to redo them so that it's being loud. And then we just have extra stuff. Um, we're gonna put up on the walls and stuff to get rid of. Heater, I mean, there's just everything in here. But, so. Okay, let's see how that color turned out. Are you gonna need another palette? No, we are good. Okay, so we'll come back later when we've got more to work on. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to start the other project, but I have to go get the glue gun. Okay, so while we're still um, painting and have all the paint stuff out, I decided I might as well get this painted because yeah, I have some paint left over. Um, and I don't want it to dry out. So I got to figure out what colors to paint this and then I'll show you when it's all done. Okay, so these are painted to go up on the wall and the shelves. And now I'm going to take this and this rope and I'm gonna hot glue it around. Okay. So as you can see, I'm on the floor. Um, but my core doesn't reach very far, so this is how we got to do it. But I wanted to show you this. My son did this. This is for like putting uh, cotton swabs or something in, and I thought he did a really good job. So, okay, so I already kind of started this. I put a dab of glue. Oh, sorry, I have sand in here already. I didn't want to have to take it out. It was in here with a display already, so I'm going to just continue to glue around and put this rope just around a little bit at a time because you don't want your glue to dry before you get everything on. So we're gonna go all the way around and do about, I'm gonna do about four or five rows on mine 
So it just depends on the container you're using as to like how many rows you want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then we'll start gluing on um, some shells. Okay, real quick before I put everything in the bathroom, I'm gonna show you what I came up with. I put all my seashells around on the rope and put a little tea light candle in there. And then I had this bucket, we used to keep chalk in it. I haven't quite figured out what I'm gonna put in it yet, but um, put some shells around it. Like I said, all these shells were from our trip. So I'm gonna go put the bathroom together and show you the finished product. Okay guys, the bathroom is done. That turned out so cute. I can display our shells. Those little hanging shells are actually pretty nice. I found a fake plant to go in that bucket and it's a green that matches the paint that I found. Nothing's really changed over here, but I put that there with the candle and the little jar with the shells that my son helped with. And then I put that shelf back here. I might switch that in the beach one, I'm not sure, or get a different colored towel, I don't know. And then I put this back in here, we've had that for a little while, it was just down in the basement, I wasn't sure if we were going to keep it or not. And then of course, this is still there, it has bags in it to clean up, a kitty litter box. And I put as much away as I can, I actually sort of reorganized under here while I was at it. Kind of repurposed some things, moved stuff around. So I don't have the picture up that my son painted yet because it's drying, but we realized that it was probably um, better for a different room. So it may go in here eventually, but um, we're gonna display it somewhere else. So hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, subscribe to my channel. Hope y'all have a great day. Bye.